Hello everybody! Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a cover of Gabby Bailey's DIY safety pin t-shirt. She mentions in the video that this exact shirt that she puts on and does is retails for $295 from the clothing line Rude. $295! That's a lot of money for a black shirt with safety pins around the collar. So she makes it so that you don't have to spend all that money on something that you can make for less than 20. Gabby is a really super amazing close friend of mine. Um, she's actually who inspired me to start the channel, not completely, um, but I have to give her credit. I, I wanted to do this since seventh grade. I'm 19 now, and so I just didn't have the courage, and then when I saw her do it, and she was just so confident in it, I was like, well, why can't I? I've been wanting to do this. I'm just, I'm gonna do it. And so now I am. So it's so exciting that I'm doing covers of her stuff, because um, she's awesome. Today I'm going to be having an assistant help me film. You wanna come here, baby girl? This is my baby girl, just kidding. She's my little sister. I don't have kids. Um, she's 10 years old, this is Maddie. I talked about her in my About Me and how much I freaking love her. Um, she's perfect, and that's not an exaggeration. Um, <laughs> you're acting so shy. <laughs> I love her. Um, Okay, so she's gonna probably hold the camera while I do this. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. But without further ado, let me show you the products and then do the video. Rhythm is a dancer, I need a companion. You're gonna need a plain black t-shirt. Um, I got mine big, I like bigger clothes. Um, in the video it goes down to Gabby's like elbows, that's about where it'll go and then she rolls it up. It just looks really cute and big. I got everything you see in this video at Hobby Lobby, every single thing. So I'm sure you can get all at Walmart too. I'm not sure about the shirts, um, but everything else, yes. I got a 50 piece assorted size safety pin, 40 piece size three, two inch safety pin. So these are like the bigger ones. And then a 100 piece, it doesn't say the size, but they're the smaller ones. That's not descriptive. Oh, it says package contains size 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I guess these are assorted also. Um, so yeah, I just have a bunch. This should be enough. Let's see if I have 150, 40. So I have 190 here. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Body like the summer. Don't tell me, don't tell me. You ain't so the first one, she puts it right in the center right through with uh, this side facing up and then just locks it in. It's a more medium shaped one. It's not the big ones, it's not the small ones. And that's the first one. I have way more of these sizes than those, so now I'm going to have to switch sizes, which kind of sucks. I don't think, I think she used uh, the bigger ones the whole time, but, well, well. Don't tell them, you ain't even, you ain't even gotta tell them don't tell them, you ain't even, don't
you ain't in, you ain't in, gotta tell him don't talk, don't talk, you ain't in, don't talk, don't talk, you ain't in, you ain't in, gotta tell him don't talk, don't talk. The bigger ones, uh, she just kind of randomly pokes it through, um, just to add a little bit of a change. Oh, if I can get it without stabbing myself. And then one more, like right here. Oh, my mom is frying some chicken, and it smells good. Yes, okay. And then, yeah. Just maybe a couple other random ones um, in spaces where there's like gaps. Hey guys, I'm back. So um, this took about 30 minutes. Um, yeah, maybe 25. Um, I, I wasn't keeping exact track, but I know it took 30 minutes from when I started and began. So about 25 or 20, which is really good. I thought it was going to take longer because of all the pins. Um, but it ended up just being a really quick, fun little DIY. The total at Hobby Lobby, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I know it was less than... $20 though, maybe even less than $15. Um, again, I got three sets of pins and I actually didn't even end up using them all. I didn't really use the big ones. Um, I used like two or three and they actually had in my assortment pack the, you know, really large ones. There were two or three in there. So I didn't even use the big pack. And then all the tiny ones I didn't use, I used the two medium sizes. So, um, and then like two or three of the big ones. So you don't even need as many pins as I got. So it would actually be cheaper with the shirt and the pins. So. That's pretty awesome. And something else I want to note, um, I don't I don't know how to exactly explain this, but I went in, I started just poking, like if here's the fabric of the shirt, I would poke it right here and then clip it. Then I started going down here and making it go through the whole fabric. I don't know if I'm making sense, but going through the whole fabric and then clipping it so it had, so now it stays. So the ones that kind of are loose, not loose, like they move around, those are the ones that I didn't clip as long and so um yeah this is so easy and it's so much fun and it's really cute I didn't think I would like it um because it's like a, just a black shirt but look at this this is fun and if you wanted you could put letters or whatever on it I don't know um but yeah this sells for $250 online and I made it in 20 minutes so that's amazing I'm great <laughs> okay um easy or hard to follow I'm gonna go ahead and give her a five, not just because she's my best friend. Um, I mean, it really was easy to follow, not just because um, it's it, she was like clear, but because it's after you watch her put two pins in. I mean, you just do that the whole way around. It's not that complicated, and she still shows herself um, going from the front to the back and then finishing it off with a couple pins. So 
I figured it out. It looks actually good, not horrible. And she didn't even show the whole thing, so. And me being me, not crafty or artsy at all, that's pretty good. For the outcome, I wanna say 4.5. It is an amazing outfit. It's a really good outcome, but there's just two little problems and they're so small that I wouldn't take off for either of them, but combined, I just feel like 0.5 off is okay. Um, and it's not even her fault, it's, I mean, if this is a shirt they sell, it would happen regardless. But I feel like you have to kind of adjust them. Um, it's also cold when you put it on because it's metal, so it kind of is like, um, it's somewhere here, so I'm fine. But yeah, they pull at your hair, that's the second one. So the first one would be that it's like you have to move them um, around. The second is that they pull at your hair like they're doing it now by if like you don't keep, you know when you're putting it on it pulls at your hair and then even just sitting here I can feel it pulling at my hair. So um, that kind of hurts but it's not a huge deal. For informative I actually have a quick note. I decided to switch the category because I realized in most videos people aren't very informative. Not that they're dumb, there's just nothing to be informative about. So I'm making it informative slash creative. So if they're informative, in, informative or not, like if they're informative, they're going to get a 2.5. If they're informative or just helpful, that's going to give them a 2.5. And then the creative side, like how creative or different it is, I would give them the other 2.5. So it'll come out to 5, if that makes sense. For creative slash informative, now that that has changed, I'm going to say a 4. Um, I only take away the one point because this isn't her idea. Um, I mean, it's it's amazing and she did a great job, but it is from something else so I can't give her full creativity points. I mean, it's a genius idea to just make it yourself instead of freaking pay for it. Um, and she's not informative. I mean, not that she can be. She's not like, safety pins are made in a factory. I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, I'd love to give it the 5, but only because I love her and I just want to give her a perfect score and that's not fair. Uh, so for overall video, um, I'm going to say five. She does a great job. It's, she's funny. It's three minutes and 30 seconds, which is really short, even though she could have made it shorter um, because it's so simple and easy. The music is dope in it. Uh, just got to say she's got a really great song. And... Um, yeah, it's a good video. She's fun. She's funny. It's her first one on her YouTube channel, even though it technically wasn't her first video ever, but like, it was like her third or fourth, and that's pretty amazing. It's great quality. She did a great job. So, um, <laughs> and then lastly, a big thank you to my sister Maddie. She did a great job, um, finishing the video. I mean, not finishing, helping film the video. She helped me with the pins and, uh, She's making a mess. Girl, stop. So, yeah, thank you to her for filming. <laughs> Why are you doing your fake smile? Jesus. Jesus. And she turned on some really fun music. What? <laughs> and she turned on um, some really fun music while I did it. And she's awesome. Her score overall is 18.5 out of 20, which is a 92, 93%. And that is an A minus. So she did a great job. Um, yeah, it's hard because I'm just like, oh, the video is perfect. But if I'm really rating on my scale, I have to admit that it's not. But I love her. She is, just not the video. So please go check her out if you haven't already. Um, I'm sure everyone right now is following me, knows about her, or is subscribed to her already. So definitely go subscribe to her. Like all of her videos. Um, give this video a like for my baby girl. Baby sister. She's the brayest. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next video, which is a cooking video. I have no idea how I'm going to do that yet because I don't know how to set up the camera and cook food at the same time. Never mind. Got it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. Bye.